Hello, everyone. <laughs> My name is James. I'm one of the two co-founders of Cityscape. My co-founder, William, could not make it, unfortunately. He's busy uh, with engineering. He's a CTO, and I'm the CEO. Uh, so, uh, how are you? So my company name is Cityscape. Uh, anyone have an idea what that word means or a guess? <laughs> yeah. What is it? Escape, Escape the city? city? <laughs> Close enough. Uh, so the word landscape, which means a view of the landmass. Um, uh, cityscape, likewise, means a view of the city. So Cityscape, in a sense, already telling you what it does. It shows you what's happening in the city. Right. So what is Cityscape? Cityscape is an app for communicating with people in the city. Uh, we don't live in the city by ourselves. There's millions of people that live with us in, in, in a particular city. Uh, however, communicating with these people is very hard. You know, uh, right now the current methods we have are Craigslist. You know, that doesn't go far. Flyers is another one. Or you could leave street posters, which you get a very ineffective method that doesn't allow you to track how many people saw your message or engaged it. So currently, there's a big transparent. There's a big uh, there's a big gap or a wall, so to say, between you and the city. You cannot communicate to it. Likewise, you cannot see what the city is trying to tell you because there's a bunch of people, believe it or not, who are all trying to reach you in a particular city. So Cityscape's aim is to make that transparent so people can communicate within the city. This is what the app looks like. I know this looks pretty abstract and uh, no one has any idea what's going on. So uh, the goal of this presentation is to show you exactly what does is, what is this symbol system mean. So how it works. So the first thing you have to know about Cityscape when you log in is dots are people. So if you see a dot, that's a person, a real person. Sorry. The second thing you have to know is uh, if you have a green dot, um, uh, it's a friend, someone you know. Uh, Cityscape is a particular option where you could invite a friend into the app. And if they accept your invitation, they, instead of showing up as a green uh, orange dot, they show up as a green dot. So that way you can have an idea of where people are in the city or where also your friends are in the city. You have a clue of where just strangers and your friends are hanging out, more or less. The last one, of course, is the pins. The pins, or these geomarkers, are basically activities that people are landmarking throughout the city. And this doesn't have to be specifically an activity. It could be a message like, I lost my dog, or I lost my wallet, or I'm looking to sell this, this pair of shoes. Uh, but basically, the, these pins are messages from users like you and me who are trying to communicate things to you in a particular area. Like, I'm looking for a running partner, for example. So, how is this useful? Uh, before going on, um, anyone can tell what, what, what these are. Um, what is this? Anyone? The dot? Friend. Activity. No, no, like no. Activity. Three dots. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> right. Activity? A person. An orange dot is a person. <laughs> the blue pin is an activity. So at a glance, you can see where people are and what they're doing. So it's very intuitive once you learn the symbology of the system. So how is Cityscape useful to you, nonprofits? And I want to basically cover a few use cases where you can see how you can utilize this. So the first one is you could use this to broadcast events. And unlike Craigslist and Cityscape, you can see how many people view your message. Uh, over here, you can see a view count. And as more people view it, you can see the view count will increase. So one, you could use it to broadcast your fundraising events. Second, you could show people where your services are. There's a lot of times where you know many people, including myself, uh, would like to get services from you know whatever organization is offering it, but we don't know where it's at. So Cityscape, and since it's all location driven, you could basically drop a pin of what you're offering where, and people will see it, and if they need it, they will show up. Third is you could use the app to find volunteers. Uh, if you could see our app has a very sleek and intuitive feeling, it's, it's very millennial in a, in a way, the same. Uh, so I think our current user base is mostly millennials. I think right now it's between 16 and 28. That's our average user base. Um, uh, you'll see a lot of dots if you join the network. Um, uh, and it's a great way to find volunteers because you can post these pins and say, hey, I'm looking for help. And if these millennials are interested, they will definitely contact you because you could respond to a pin, as you will see. This is what a pins look like when you touch it further. So pins are clickable. You can click them twice. The first click shows you call, what it's saying. And if you click it one more time, you can see more information, a picture, a description. But the title remains the same. I'm going to back one. Volunteers need it. So if you click on it one more time, this is what you see. So the first one kind of is a view. This, this is the concept of click. So you track views and clicks on a platform. And last one, you could track your volunteers themselves. 
Cities people allows you to create groups and assign them colors. So you could have a group of volunteers, add them on the app, and assign them a color like violet. So all your volunteers are violet dots. So you can see your volunteers coming to you in city scheme because this is all real time. If a dot move, it move. Well, if, a dot, if a person moves, the dot moves as well. So city scheme basically, in summary, transforms cities into a community, a visible community. Cities are no longer opaque. You can see what people are doing, where they're doing, and why you're there. I think that's about it. So you have green and blue, but I'm wondering if you can also create red dots for people you want to avoid. <laughs> Absolutely. So we haven't added that feature yet. We just <laughs> that's the truth. That's not the truth. <laughs> You can absolutely do that. All of that feature is not yet deployed. Uh, it's just the two of us. It's just me and my co-founder. Uh, we plan on having a group feature where you could basically add people to the app and assign them colors. And you could label the group. Family, friends, coworkers. So at a glance, you could see where families are, friends are, or lover, or coworkers are, along with other people in the city. Again, this is just to make your city into a visible community. So. Uh, just to be completely honest, slightly. <laughs> Sure. Out, but I'm going to opt in with, you know, while feeling safe. I don't, I don't want people to see where I am. Absolutely. That's a great question. So uh, one thing we've noticed is that uh, that that feeling or the user experience is completely dependent on demographic. So we've noticed, for example, uh, people from 16 to 24, they're actually very liberal. They, they don't mind sharing their geolocation whatsoever. But people from a perhaps an older, a slightly older demographic, they, they're a little weary. Like, wow, this sounds like a big brother tool. I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, one thing we do to sort of like, you know, uh, ease or make it more comfortable is making sure that all dots remain anonymous. Yes, you see a dot, but you don't know who it is. You, you actually have no idea who the person identity is. You just know that it's a person. So in a sense, we could all get the collective feeling that we're trying to get from a community or a tribe, which is a city, but at the same time, without setting on anyone's privacy.